Your caster is weak, like a morel infant. Scriar whirled at the quick and heavy Vaga footsteps behind her. Too late, High Tar rammed into her massive thorax with a heavy shoulder and a full head of steam. She dropped Mantiath into a heap as she sprawled backwards, hissing like a snake. She collected herself and sneered at the familiar dwarf. It's you, High Targ shouted, staring at the scar his father had left on her face. His grip tightened on Glorybringer's hand. My bones, Scriar snarled, recognizing the pillow sack hanging at High Targ's waist. The bones of Ayo Shirai. Without a moment's hesitation, High Targ dashed through the room and swung his axe. You cursed my father. He chopped through the table she tried to use as a shield. Splinters of jagged wood exploded, damaging her hands. Scriar lunged for a tall apothecary rack, for anything nearby that could be used as a weapon against the raging dwarf. He'd quickly hacked his way through whatever she scrambled to defend herself with. You took his sight. He smashed through the alembic distiller, said she flung at him. Wait, hold your axe. Without me, King Irontooth will never see again, Scriar gambled. I, I can reverse the spell. I can. High Targ shouted over her. There is only one way to be certain that you'll do no further harm to Esfa. He hefted his axe. Scriar snatched Mantiath by the leg and lifted him in place as a shield. She curled her lip, daring the dwarf to strike as she hedged towards the exit. High Targ's nose wrinkled as he weighed the odds. A sizzle of frigid energy crackled over his shoulder, and the odor of ozone tickled his nose hairs. Whose magic is weak now? Elara ground behind him with eyes blazing azure. 